A column of Russians attempted to storm a small village but immediately fell into a trap. The Ukrainians began an attack from all sides, deploying a large number of FPV drones, mines, and camouflage soldiers. One of the infantry vehicles was hit by the Ukrainians so spectacularly that, at first glance, it almost looks like a scene from a movie. The Russians managed to abandon the burning vehicle, but most likely this won't save them. The enemy hadn't even reached the village yet and was already starting to lose their equipment one by one. With the help of remote mining systems and airstrikes, four Russian APCs and two tanks were quickly sent to hell. Most of the column was destroyed right on the road or nearby, while the surviving vehicles scattered in all directions to escape. A few tanks managed to break into the village, but their journey ended very quickly. Another three tanks decided to take a different route, but Ukrainian artillery was waiting for them and precisely destroyed two units. The crew of the third tank was probably glad to have gotten past the others first, but their happiness did not last long. Realizing that the offensive had failed, the surviving Russians tried to escape in a panic from the fire, but they instantly found themselves either in minefields or under the attack of another drone that had been waiting for someone to get into its crosshairs. The Ukrainians were very well prepared for this battle and didn't hold back on explosives. Some of the Russians thought it would be easier to hide among the ruined houses as there was a lower chance of encountering a mine there. However, they did not analyze that drones are much more maneuverable than a large and slow tank. This military truck is certainly faster than a tank, but it also couldn't escape very far. Like its comrades, it also experienced the power of Ukrainian mines. Gradually, the Russians lost, one by one, almost all of the military vehicles involved in the offensive, without even seeing a single Ukrainian soldier. It's very difficult to fight when you don't even know where the fire is coming from. This time, the tank still survived and somehow managed to break out of the encirclement. Perhaps he and his comrade could have escaped. However, they encountered several Ukrainian soldiers who opened fire with an RPG. The missile hits a tree and misses its target, but luck is not on the Russian side today. After driving a couple more meters, it hits a mine. Another tank, seeing the explosion, quickly began to flee in the opposite direction, but didn't manage to travel even 50 feet. Give a thumbs up to the Ukrainian soldiers for such an outstanding defensive operation, and we'll tell you about what's happening on other parts of the front. Look at this interesting incident. Three Russian APCs are delivering infantry for an assault on Ukrainian positions in a tree line. The vehicles are firing and approaching the Ukrainian positions. However, when they disembark the troops, the Russian soldiers, instead of advancing to attack, began to flee back. This indicates the low morale of the infantrymen. They knew they had no chance in this fight. The infantry ran off to a nearby village and started hiding in abandoned houses. But surprises awaited them there as well. Ukrainians quickly detected their location using a reconnaissance drone, and a Ukrainian APC began precise fire until all of them were eliminated. On the other side of the village, a Ukrainian tank was hunting down Russian soldiers hiding in the ruined buildings. The tank maneuvered skillfully, aiming to keep the entire perimeter under control. It carefully advanced forward, gradually taking out the enemy's fortified positions. But, just as it paused, the Russians launched an attack using a Lancet drone. The tank withstood the hit and even continued to carry out its mission. Immediately after the drone attack, the Russians attempted to hit the tank with artillery. And once again, the tank remained unharmed. But unlike the Ukrainian tank, the Russian military truck transporting a howitzer and its ammunition did not survive. A Ukrainian FPV drone flew directly into the truck bed, causing an explosion that sparked a fire. The Russians immediately stopped and began running in all directions. 
knowing that more explosions were imminent. And that's exactly what happened. The flames reached such high temperatures that they melted the truck's body. And the ammunition explosions that started shortly afterward completely destroyed the equipment. After Ukraine received F-16 fighter jets, the Russians began to use anti-aircraft missile systems much more actively, attempting to target these fighters. Yet they couldn't imagine that they themselves could become the prey. A column of Russian equipment moves confidently through the Kursk region, certain they are safe. Two new Buk M3 anti-aircraft missile systems are already taking positions to destroy the F-16s, conducting combat operations near the border. But they had no idea that a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone was closely observing them. As soon as one of the systems launches a missile, a rocket from an M142 HIMARS immediately strikes their hiding spot precisely destroying the SAM system worth over $300 million. The driver of the other buck tries to leave the battlefield in a panic. He was moving fast, but the Ukrainian drone was faster and hit the complex with a precision strike. And these Russians hoped that they were safely hidden in a dense forest and would not be found. They were completely wrong. Ukrainian reconnaissance UAVs Shark often work in tandem with HIMARS MLRS. With a flight range of over 300 kilometers, these Ukrainian drones can penetrate up to 80 kilometers into enemy territory. These birds are highly effective in helping HIMARS operators destroy even those targets hidden deep in the rear. Parts of the Russian Buk M1 missile system spectacularly scattered in all directions. This incredibly beautiful firework cost the Russian army over $100 million. The Tor M2 is a short range anti aircraft missile system designed to protect military installations from aerial threats such as aircraft, helicopters, drones, and cruise missiles. The Russians were looking for a convenient place to start operations, but were unable to locate the Shark UAV which was in the sky above them all along. Just look at how incredibly accurately the missile from the HIMARS struck its target. The SAM system, which was supposed to protect its colleagues from drones and missiles, became a victim of them. Next, the Ukrainian drone spotted three more units of military equipment in the distance. Russians don't know that the anti-aircraft missile system has already been destroyed and are loading ammunition to deliver it to them. Another good target for instant destruction. Shark and HIMARS, a deadly duo. The first locates, the second destroys. Just like in this case, the Russians hid their Sinitsa electronic warfare station, hoping no one would find it there. Two hits, and all that remains of the advanced station is a pile of scrap metal. The driver of another Tor M1 thought he had found a way to hide from HIMARS. Along with other vehicles, they drove into an inconspicuous warehouse to take a break. It was certainly their final rest. Specialized equipment is often accompanied by a column of other military vehicles. This time, military intelligence spotted them before they could escape. The first precise shot destroys an enemy tank, causing the column to stop to change direction and regroup. But that pause was enough for HIMARS to fire another rocket, this time with cluster munitions, stopping the group permanently. Cluster munitions are effective not only against large groups of equipment, sometimes it's worthwhile to use them on a single target if it's valuable enough. The strike occurred precisely at the moment when a Russian military truck delivered ammunition to a Howitzer 2S7 self-propelled artillery system. As a result, both pieces of equipment were spectacularly and effectively destroyed. Another howitzer 2S7 was stationed nearby in the forest, firing at Ukrainian positions. The Russians chose a very good spot for camouflage. The trees make it difficult for regular drones to spot and destroy the target. To more accurately determine its location, a thermal imaging camera had to be used. 
As immediately as the target was detected, a HIMARS precision strike destroyed it. Through the smoke screen, we can't make out all the details, but on the thermal imaging camera, the fire and the destroyed frame of the Russian artillery system are clearly visible. The rarer the beast, the more interesting the hunt. The 39N6 Costa 2E radar station, valued at around $60 million, is designed for airspace monitoring, target location, and identification of aerial targets, including at extremely low altitudes. Well, this time, it didn't fulfill its task, failing to detect either the Shark UAV or the HIMARS rocket. Modern drones greatly increase the effectiveness of HIMARS strikes on enemy stationary targets, especially deep behind enemy lines. For example, against Russian heavy flamethrower multiple launch rocket systems like the TOS-1A, this is a Russian fire support system based on the T-72 tank, designed to strike enemy personnel, fortifications, and equipment using thermobaric munitions. It is equipped with multiple launch systems capable of firing rockets that create a powerful shockwave and high temperatures, causing severe damage within a radius of several dozen meters. The system has high maneuverability and can operate in various combat conditions, making it effective in modern conflicts. But if the HIMARS MLRS operator finds a target, it will be destroyed. After the direct hit, the ammunition of the Russian equipment continued to explode for several minutes. Despite being a relatively new type of weapon in the Russian army, practical experience has shown that it has quite weak protection, and a direct hit almost always leads to the complete destruction of the system along with the personnel operating it. American MLRS have performed exceptionally well in the Russian-Ukrainian war, and have significantly aided the Ukrainians in destroying the enemy across all front lines. They have repeatedly halted the Russians' advance even at the preparation stage. In operations to destroy enemy equipment, it is also very important to choose the right time to strike. For example, here, the Russian Grad MLRS launched a salvo of missiles and left its position. Russian soldiers are heading for a new supply of ammunition. Meanwhile, another Grad is heading to this location to replenish its supplies as well. The Ukrainians could have destroyed the first target while it was firing, however, by waiting just a couple of minutes, they now have the chance to destroy three targets with a single shot, two MLRS and an ammunition depot. The HIMARS missile hit the warehouse directly. At first, the shells stored there began to explode, and only then could we see the detonation of the launchers. The right tactical decision by the Ukrainian command helped to save their own missiles and hit more targets in one strike. Even when only one unit of an anti-aircraft missile system, like the Buk M2, is destroyed, it is already a very good result. Under sanctions, it is quite difficult for the Russian Federation to produce new equipment, and they also need to train personnel. So each such video of destruction is a small victory over the aggressor. The more Ukrainians destroy the enemy in the deep rear, the fewer civilians and soldiers the occupier will be able to kill. Subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up, and we'll continue to promptly showcase the most impactful moments of the Russia-Ukraine war.